Oh, hey everyone. Uh, I wanted to take the time to do a full demonstration of uh, how to train dialogue flow with Janice. Uh, a number of you have asked, uh, you know, why do I need dialogue flow? Uh, how do I connect it? How do I train it? Um, and so this is really a tutorial for beginners. Um, and it, it also, if you're an agency and you have clients and you want to help your clients make their bots smarter by adding dialogue flow and having them be active participants in training a bot and training AI, um, that's what Janice was intended for. It was really to make it easy for uh, people without technical experience to be able to collaborate and train dialogue flow together. So this is gonna be part one of a series. This is an introduction to, to training dialogue flow with Janice. And so what we're looking at right now is this is the dialogue flow uh, web interface. And if you haven't done so already, you'll wanna to go to dialogueflow.com and you'll wanna create a, an AI agent and it's free AI from Google and it's the best AI for a conversational experience that you can have currently. Um, after all, it is from Google. So uh, you'll see I've added some agents and you'll just wanna create new agent and it's gonna ask you to name your agent. In this case, I've just named it Chat Fuel Test. And then you would click Save, and that's all you need to do in this interface. Um, and I'll tell you why. If we look at Intense, um, it comes, uh, each agent comes with a default fallback intent, which is like your default uh, response and a default welcome message. Um, but if we look at it, it's fairly sophisticated if you are uh, not technical, uh, there's some concepts here that are um, a little more advanced. And the great thing is if you connect uh, dialogue flow to Janus and you connect your bot from Janus and you are more knowledgeable or you have specific things that you want to train, uh, dialogue flow is quite powerful. You can do that directly from the interface. But since this is an introduction to training dialogue flow, um, and we've, we've built tools that you can do that in Slack uh, without all of the, the complexities. And I'll show you how that works. Um, let's head over to Slack. And uh, once you've added Janice to Slack and answered some questions, uh, like uh, what are you, uh, when you add a bot, it'll tell you to connect a Dialogflow agent. And you just pick that from a list of agents that you've created in the Dialogflow web interface. And you want to connect them to Janice. And uh, I'm going to just uh, say bots because I've already done that. I'm not going to walk you through the onboarding. Um, I'm going to just pick that chat fuel test agent and I'll get all of the settings. Uh, so these are, if I want to connect the agent to my chat bot, I can follow these instructions. If I've never done that before, I can watch a tutorial. And, it'll, and Janice will, will load a video inside of Slack that shows you how to, how to do it. So it's fairly easy. But without even connecting uh, your chatbot to Janice, um, you can really just start training dialogue flow uh, right away. And you would just click this button that says start training. Or you can say uh, train and, and, uh, and that'll work too. And what happens is... Uh, Janice will create a, a channel for training your, uh, your agent. So you just want to click this link and you'll see here on the left side uh, that there's this new channel. We call it an AI training channel and you'll want to join the channel. And there's some basic instructions on, on what to do in the channel, but I'll just tell you because we're, that's the point of this video. Um, you just send messages and you'll see that, uh, your agent, your dialogue flow agent will respond um, to your messages. You'll see here that uh, it doesn't, it hasn't been trained to respond to thanks. So what you'll want to do is you'll just want to click Janice's reply and you'll see here that by default you're going to get your, your default answer because there's no response trained. So you'll want to click this green categorize button and we're going to save that as a new intent we could add it to an existing intent, but since this is a new blank, essentially a, a clean slate blank agent, we're going to create a new intent. Or if I want to label or name the intent, 
Um, and just so you know, an intent is really uh, a, a collection of phrases and responses to what your users might send your bot. They send you a message. Uh, the goal for dialogue flow is to understand what is the user's intent when they sent that message. And you want your bot to respond, or you want dialogue flow rather, to deliver a response to your user um, assume, uh, to, based on the, the intent. So you want dialogue flow to understand what the user meant. And that training does take time. Uh, but we'll start with some simple examples. Um, I'm just going to save this as a new intent. And once I do that, I'm going to, uh, these are things that users say. They say, thanks. And I can add a response. Uh, you're welcome. Right? And um, I can add other, more responses. And Dialogflow will randomly pick from uh, one of these responses. Um, and sometimes it's it's good to give a variety of different responses. And just like we've added multiple responses, you'll want to click this menu and let's add some other things that users say. Right? So they say thanks. They say thank you. Thanks uh, very much. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, you know, much appreciated. Got it. So you can keep going and you'll see that Janice will create, you know, pages of things that users say and you can add different types of responses. We just added two text responses, but I could add a quick reply button and that quick reply button will load from Dialogflow. I can add a custom payload which is a block of code that does a little more sophisticated type of response. I can even add a chat fuel block. So uh, before we do that, uh, let's just test it out and see what happens. So now I'm getting my responses, right? Um, let's say the user says, how do I start over? We want to train a response to that. So let's uh, categorize that. And since our example is actually a chat fuel bot, uh, what we'll probably want to do is we'll just want to redirect them to the welcome message. And so you can do that directly from this interface. Um, it's actually more complex when you do it from the dialogue flow interface because you actually have to write a block of code. But we've made it really easy. You just need to type in the name of the block and Janice will write the code into your uh, into your dialogue flow account for you so we make it really easy um, just just a note that sometimes it takes a little bit of time for the AI to learn so just because you train if you don't get the response you wanted right away uh, don't be frustrated uh, the AI has to learn Right, so um, I think I've talked long enough that we should get a response. How do I start over? Well, it doesn't look like it. So let's try again. Okay, so this time we got it. Yeah, so if you don't get the response uh, you wanted right away, good thing I told you at that particular moment because this is a live unscripted demo, um, then uh, you know, keep trying, just keep sending messages. You know, how do I start over? So this is a really quick way to, to chest, test, uh, test out your training. And you'll see the response is a welcome message. And in the next tutorial, when I show you how we hook up, hook this up to your bot and test it all out in Messenger, uh, you'll see uh, that it will actually redirect. Actually, um, yeah, let's do that. We'll do that the next tutorial. But this is the result that we want. Um, there's all types of things you can do. You just need to... Um, use this menu. Janice says, what would you like to do? And you can add different responses. Um, you can add what users say. You can add follow-up intents, which is really powerful because essentially you can create a, uh, a linear flow in your conversation. So you can ask the user questions and then give them a quick reply 
uh, as responses, and then based on their quick reply, follow up with another question. Um, so you can create this 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 uh, essentially a conversational flow, um, and you can do that all here. Now I think what's really cool about this, and I'll show you a few tricks, is that um, all of this is happening in Slack, and Slack is a collaborative workspace. And you can see here, you know, I've got this uh, Mike uh, Mike Nathanson's on my team, and there could be other people on my team, and uh, Janice is on my team. Um, but let's go back to this AI training channel. Um, if I want, I, there's other people on my team, I can invite them into the channel and we can train together. So I'm just gonna send an, a message. I just mentioned Mike and I say, can you do some training? And because I mentioned Mike, the message won't go to the bot. I actually have to invite him into this channel, which I'll click that link. And, um, Mike should respond because I see the green light. I see he's online and I see he joined and uh, let me see uh, Mike. Let's see if he's there. Uh, but this is you can have a number of people on your team and you just invite them in the channel and you can all train together. Uh, and when you mention them, the, the message doesn't get sent to dialogue flow so we can have a conversation. So if I do send a message like, thanks, you'll see the dialogue flow responded because this is the training channel. Um, but it's pretty cool. You'll see, I, I can actually watch Mike uh, do some training uh, and we can train together and I can watch all that happen in real time. It's pretty cool. Um, what's also neat is that if you're an agency and you're building bots for other people, uh, you can invite them just into this channel. And you can all collaborate on dialogue flow training. You don't need to send your users, where is it? Uh, you don't need to send your customers to this and give them a developer tool to help train your bot. You can all just do it from Slack. So I'm watching Mike train. So as he's doing that, or we're, we're all watching Mike train. So as, as he's doing that, I'll give you a few ways that you can collaborate with your clients. Um, one is... Uh, you can, um, let's see here, you can invite new members to join. And uh, if you're a, 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 a paying Slack customer, and, and Slack, I think, is like $5 a month, uh, even for one user for a paid account, then you can, inv with a paid account in Slack, you can actually invite your clients only into this channel, Right. And uh, that's pretty cool because you could have a whole team working. You've got a lot of private conversations. Maybe you're talking about your clients. Um, this is a way that you can just invite them just to this channel and collaborate with them on the training without giving them access to, to everything else. Uh, another strategy is uh, you can see here I have a bunch of different workspaces. So, you know, you could create a new workspace and it could be just for you and your client to work together. And uh, that's pretty cool because uh, right now me and Mike are collaborating and this is a free workspace. So you and your clients could set up a workspace and you can train uh, together in your own private workspace. Um, and then there's a third collaboration option. Um, when you work with Janice, you can um, you could have all of your bots managed from one workspace. So the you know, we have obviously we have a Janus workspace and uh, and we're able to connect and monitor all of uh, all of the people that are using Janus from a single workspace. Um, but if we wanted to share a bot project, everything, whether it's training, live takeover, but just for a particular bot, we can share. You just tell us and we can link that workspace. We can link that bot to your client's workspace. And uh, what's really cool is, is we do have an agency, specific agency account that allows you to, um, to, base, to share a bot project, to share any one of your bot projects with up to 10 other workspaces. So that's really helpful because, you know, instead of jumping between different workspaces with your clients, you have one workspace, you manage everything from your workspace, and then you just share uh, the bot projects with your clients and they're working from their own team. So they don't even have to have a separate workspace. They can get it in their workspace. So a number of different ways to collaborate. Obviously uh, we make it easy here. There's no, um, you know, there's no technical 
uh, requirements. You're just using natural language. You're just chatting with Janice and chatting with your team. And uh, let's just send Mike a note. Thanks, Mike. Uh, and uh, and that this will conclude our our first session in training dialogue flow with Janice. And the next. Uh, Oh, Mike's still training. The next session will focus on uh, some some really cool ways that you can monitor your bot live and train directly from your chat transcripts with your users. So that'll be in part two. Um, but for now, uh, hopefully this was a good introduction.